What's going on, diamonds and gents? This is Miss Trace that Jim, and you are watching Jim Sport TV. about to be a love and hip hop season one episode 10 recap let's get on into it okay my ring been falling off my finger so i had to put it on my middle finger but anyway child let me just go ahead and get my seven chuckles in <laughs> did oh good miss princess did you fall in the pool baby or did ray j push you i think ray j pushed you but <laughs> Ray J, how many times I'm going to have to tell you to dig around in your new new sack? How many times I'm going to have to tell you to feel and see if you're still a man? I just want to know, baby. <laughs> I just need to know. Like one of my uh, Facebook friends say, baby, is you using wings or tampons? I just need to know. For real, real talk, I want to know. Wait a minute now, I need to know. Okay? Because, <laughs> did you have to pour your drink in a woman's face? Child, let's move on. That was, <laughs> I was just, <laughs> that was fresh on my heart. And I had to shed with y'all, you know, the laceration of realization that I felt when it came to that. Let's move on. So y'all know I got a few notes, so I wouldn't forget nothing or whatever. This is going to be a quick one. Okay, let's go right on into what stuck out to me. So, young bird is having a birthday party. So, he wanted his special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickle, onion on a sesame seed bun to be Masika. So, he asked Masika to come to his apparently party with him. He's having an all-white everything party. And, uh, they get to the party and Hazel, Hazel E is there and <laughs> nothing's white but her nails. And she got on all black. Now, Masika is throwing all kinds of shade at Hazel E, talking about some where's the Muppet at and all this and that and other. But wasn't y'all just friends like two weeks ago? See, it's certain type of females that I just can't deal with. And I see them kind of mile away. Them, them sisters that got to be in competition with one another. One thing is, I can't stand that. If I'm your friend, we're not in competition with one another. We're going to come up together. I don't play that. Or, they said yours look better than man, but they said you I look better than you. And all that, if you got a friend like that, let me tell you now, baby. As soon as y'all fall out, that's going to be the worst thing that ever happened to you. So, let that go now, because that's not a friend. Let me just go ahead and put that out there for those, FYI, for those that did not know. When you got somebody that's always talking about what they got and what people say you are versus them... That's going to be a constant battle that trust and believe. Trust me. You don't need that in your life, okay? Let's move on. So, she and I like, well, where the Muppet at? Why y'all keep calling that girl a Muppet? Anyway, where the Muppet at? And so, <laughs> everybody was like, what? So, she just had to play at his party while she there. The fact that she took the song that the man gave her. And song on it. Hazel E being who Hazel E is, they know she crazy. I don't know why. See, when people is crazy, you just don't mess with certain kind of crazy. You understand me? And that's real talk. Don't ever get it twisted. Don't mess with certain kind of crazy. Hazel E is that certain kind of crazy you don't really want to mess with. So, Hazel E starts rapping. And then, <laughs> So she go over, because Tierra Marie, you know, turn up queen extraordinaire. She come up over there, and she like, um, well, since she was always in my business, let me go on here and dip my pinky toe all up in her business, okay? So she gets over there, she gets all in the business, and come to find out, child, she finds out that the song belonged to her. And so now Tierra Marie sat and my dude like, wait a minute, did you do that? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't cool. And then Masika, what, what's this hug up, kiss up? When you just trying to holler at me? She was like, yeah, I normally see Hazel Wee. I wouldn't side with you, but now I got to side out of this situation here. So here come big boy Sincere. I done told you, Motor Sky Young, this nigga don't need no more camera tam, okay? He come bringing his camel toe wearing, tight legging wearing, hey, first of all, get your woman back up pants, my nigga. That's what I'm gonna need for you to do. I don't like him. Let me just go ahead and say, it. I don't like him. I don't too particularly care for Sincere, okay? So he come and dips his pinky toe all up in the situation where he ain't got no business in the god darn situation because who who the hell are you? Okay, first of all, this ain't even your party. Okay, this is the little little young burger party. Okay, special sauce, this cheese, pickle, onion on the C bun party. This ain't even got nothing to do with you, thickness. Get take your little thick over there. Okay, get on up out my face before I cook you and your girl coochie. I'm gonna need you to stop playing. That brother had camel toe. Tell me y'all didn't see that 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 coochie picking towards that. Let me just give a FYI to all the men that were in these tight britches. Okay. First of all, I know this was a trend that started two years ago. However, whoever started this trend, I'm going to need for y'all men to get up, get your A out of jeggings, okay? It is over with. It's time to stay stopped to jeggings, okay? Especially if you're a certain size. You don't need to be in nobody's jeggings. Let me just go ahead and say, when I was big, I didn't wear every trend. <laughs> All the little girls that wore, I didn't wear every trend, okay? I didn't wear certain skirts and dresses. People could say, oh, you can get a corset, you can do this. Yeah, all right, I ain't putting my big A in that, okay? And I'm putting the FYI out there. If you got camel toe, if you preach it, yeah, I'm gonna see some of y'all too. If you preach it in the jaggings, I'm gonna need for you to get your breeches loosened. Loosen your breeches up. It's time, okay? Don't nobody wanna see your penis and your balls while you talk about her huh, and the Lord <laughs> and you anoint her. Huh, uh, no, come out them tight pants. <laughs> it is what it is. It's time. It's time, bruh. Let it go, bruh. That trend ain't for you. Okay? The Lord bless you down there. People shouldn't have to see the blessings. Huh? They shouldn't have to see it. No. Ship your jaggings. Ship them suckers. If it don't have a zipper and a button, <laughs> ship that thing <laughs> back to your woman. That's all I got to say. We're going to get on and move on. So here come Ray J after the turn up with the tight pants, man. Sincere. Ray J come over there with a Hazel E. You good, boo? You good? I'm, you, I got your back. You good? Like, my nigga, did you just leave? Did you did you just run over here after the fact? No, nigga, no. Nigga, uh -uh. did you just run over here after Big Sincere left? What I'm gonna need for you to do I'm going to need for you to get your life and get it again. You good? Because I told you I got your back. No, nigga. You had my back from way over there by the bar behind three other bodyguards and some of VH1 bodyguards too. Then you ran your A over here to see if I'm all right. In the ninth hour. No, you keep that. If you got my back like that, baby, I don't need you. I don't need you. No, 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 no. I don't need that. But and then, you know, Rachel is a little short thing, a little bitty man, you know. And I understand, you know, Sincere, he had a whole lot of camel toe out. Don't don't get it twisted. He had a whole lot of cooch out. You know what I'm saying? But he's still a big old boy. So I understand, Ray J. Yo gangster on that one. So Ray J takes T. Aaron Marie outside to try to figure out what the heck is really going on, okay? And so he calls himself trying to apologize because he's in anger management. But T. Aaron Marie can see all through Miss Ray J's Maybelline baby and says, Oh no, you just trying to uh have something else lined up. So when you get it, uh, when you and old girl get y'all man right, cause come to find out they must be on the outs. And Morgan has told Tierra Marie, but Tierra Marie never mentioned who told her or whatever. So he sits down with Morgan or whatever, going all off. And Morgan like, dude, I know you're not trying to act like that when everything around you is rented. 
He said, I can't remember the last time I rented something. You rented that Lamborghini she talking about. She was your assistant. She called in the rental, boo. She know. And ain't no wrong with renting, baby. Hey, I say rent until you get on. I ain't mad at you because I don't know many people renting Lamborghinis. Don't worry, I'll wait. I don't know many. You know what I'm saying? So, more power to you, brother. You can rent one. Some folk can't even rent one. Moving on. So, Lil Ray J, you know what I'm saying? He got his, he got his, he, maybe that's why you can't feel down in your new, new set. Because you had your balls handed to you by Morgan. Moving on. So, <laughs> okay. So, Lil Riley, apparently Lil Riley, they had, you know, Lil Teddy Riley. You know, you know, Nia. She had a miscarriage. Now, I'm not going to say that the girl didn't have a miscarriage. Because I'm going to say this. I done been there. And I know that's something that you don't really, as a woman, want to even play with. Okay? So, but it's just real funny, Mona Scott Young, that every franchise somehow has had a miscarriage or an abortion. Are we writing a script for TV? Are they reality... People playing reality roles on TV. I just don't know. Y'all drop it down below. Y'all think that it's a reality conspiracy when it comes to it? I don't know. But anyway, she had a miscarriage. She was trying to talk to uh, young sir. What's that boy named Soldier Boy? She, you should change your name, young sir. That, young sir. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, moving on. And she was trying to tell to him, tell her she was stressed out, whatever, whatever. He wasn't trying to hear none of that or what have you. So the next episode, it looks like he's going to be very nonchalant about how her emotions and how she's feeling. Talking about we both took a loss. Like, get over it. Baby, I can't with my dude. And first of all, let me just give an FYI to Lil Riley. First of all, your daddy name is Teddy Riley. You ain't got time to be fooling with Soldier Boy. And you's a pretty woman. And I don't understand why we just don't know our worth sometimes as diamonds and as women. You do not need to be dealing with that foolery. Point blank and the period. Okay, because apparently he didn't even get back in contact with you after you told him you need to talk to y'all. Moving on, child, because I know how you're feeling on that one, and I've been to say something else, and this turned to a whole nother goddamn video. Moving on. So, she has a miscarriage. Uh, Marion, why did you name your baby Mega? You done named your damn baby Megaphone. You need your a -book. I need to know why you named your baby Mecca. Y'all know back in the day, it used to be a few look. I ain't even gonna go there. That's for the Chicago people. Y'all don't know nothing about that. It used to be all types of stuff that used to be leaked to this little thing. And it was like a party line. <laughs> I'm about to expose y'all niggas. It was like a party line, you know what I'm saying? And you would call in and you know you could be guys and all kinds of stuff. It was crazy. Let me just go ahead and say it. And they had different little stuff that was connected to this particular little thing. And if you got the wrong one, you liable to run into which was me, which was for the gay, the LBGT community. But you was always trying to get mega match phones so you could get with heterosexual baby back in the day before social media and all these uh match.coms and harmonies, baby. The play the uh, party line used to be how folks met people. Now let me just go ahead and say I don't fool with it because everybody I knew that messed with all the party lines. Let me just go ahead and say everybody that they met was crazy as the role list. And you to set up and name your baby after that. Every shot time person was looking at that TV like, oh no, the party line. <laughs> Within the episode, comment down 
to know and let your girl know. Y'all know I love talking to y'all and I love dialoguing. Do not forget, I want to thank all my old and new diamonds and gents that are hitting that subscribe button and sharing the videos. I absolutely appreciate you guys for that. And to all my diamonds, you are the toughest material on the earth, ladies, and there's none like you just you're no longer boys when you watch this channel. And to all my diamonds, appreciate you, appreciate you, babies. Have joy, love, and be empowered in the 2014. You be blessed. Mwah.